My name is Tom Keller. I work for Landscape Structures. I've been there for five years and my role there is industrial designer. A uh, big part of my day is to work on new concepts and uh, this is one of the things that I had uh, a role in as concept designer. A lot of the design work that I do starts from just uh, daydreaming, just brainstorming, just sitting in my office and I've got things like clay and I've got copper tubing, different things. And so one day I was sitting at my desk just bending this copper tubing into different shapes. And finally I formed this nice even arch. And then I started thinking you know, more about that arch and I remembered seeing the dancing waters at Disney. I think it was Disneyland. And uh, you know, they're the, these perfect columns, these perfect tubes of water. And they don't just go in one direction. They start to bounce from one over and this way, and there's this asymmetry to that design, or to that um, you know, water play or water activity. So I started thinking more about that and adding more of these arches together and playing around with them. And I love the idea that one's a little bit bigger than the other, and it's not just a perfect symmetrical type design, but there's this nice asymmetry to it. Okay, so when we first started working on this system, that was one of the big things that we wanted to concentrate on. We, we didn't want this to be what we have always known as a playground system with posts and decks and uh, standard activities. One of the big driving factors for me in this was that if I come up with a, an activity that you automatically know how to use it, I don't want it in the system. So I wanted everything to be surprising. I wanted to challenge kids at every turn to come up with their own way to interact with the activities. And I think the system did a good job of that. It's easy to keep my kids in mind with everything that I do you know, at work. Um, and having them you know, so close to work, it's nice to be able to bring them in. And once we've got a prototype ready for kids to get on, they actually came in on a routine basis and we said, okay, here's something new. What do you guys want to do with it? How would you interact with it? And just watch them play. And that, that's a good test for, you know, are we doing the right thing? I, every time I watch kids play on Evos, I get surprised. Because the beauty of the system is that there are so many different ways to go from activity to activity or just in how they use each activity. So, Every time I watch kids play on this system, it's a surprise, and I was surprised today. Uh, today we had a group of um, kids with very disabilities using the equipment, and I thought they had a blast. And that is, that's the best thing, to watch kids that, um, they're not, you know, maybe the average school-aged kids that have perfect, you know, ability. These are kids that have some challenges, and I think that they interacted with the, with the system in a wonderful way. They all had fun. And um, so that was very heartening. I would consider this to be kind of the end of the day. Uh, so the design's been done, it's out there. We're watching kids play on it and they're having fun. That's it. <laughs>